be honest, what is the first thought that comes to mind when someone mentions a precision frame auto rifle to you? And we're talking Shadow Price, Tiger Spite, Origin Story, Breakneck, you know, 450 autos. If your first thought was that they're bad, congratulations, you're wrong. Honestly though, hear me out. I know these auto rifles get a whole lot of stick for just not being worth using in practically any activity. Underwhelming, the usual stuff. Man, are you naysayers missing out here? Let's kick things off with firstly the Tiger Spite. And this is not even a god roll to showcase its maximum potential. And still, I'm going to confidently say this is one of the best auto rifles I have used in PvP, if not the best. But we'll get to that part. Did this dude just say Tiger Spite is one of the best? <laughs> That's cap. I don't want to hear it, Benjamin. You too, Jacob. I haven't even said hi to you guys in this video yet. Hi. I do hope you're all having a lovely day full of 450 auto rifles. Now, of course, I'm extremely aware of the YouTuber stereotype of having one good match with a weapon and deciding, yes, this is the next big thing. Check this out, fellas. And that's not an Asda Cross disc, by the way. I love that man. So anyway, to squash those potential comments, I decided to say, bugger it and get 1000 kills in Crucible with each of the auto rifles I'm showcasing today. Is that good enough? Shout out to Crit Buff for the inspiration. So I've been using these things for the past few months religiously in order to prove a point and one point alone, showcasing the unfortunate and underrated world of 450 auto rifles. Now, of course, when I say 450 auto rifles, I mean precision frame auto rifles. I don't actually know what most people refer to them as. 450s, precision frames, to me they're the most generic auto rifles. And not in a bad way either, I mean just a straight up, plain and basic auto rifle sort of frame, you know? But man, these things get so much unwarranted abuse and disrespect, not even given a chance. Anyway, I'm going on a run here, listen up. My role is subsistence and swashbuckler. Looks kind of average, right? No. I keep hitting my desk. I mean, could I have farmed a better roll? Oh, absolutely. Doesn't matter though. That's the great thing about this beauty. Consistently winning mid-range duels and putting up a decent fight against most meta weapons. And that's without any particular perk carrying my experience. I mean, subsistence does help with potentially getting two to three kills per magazine. Swashbuckler obviously being a damage buff increasing per kill. Perhaps I could have gone into this a bit more melee minded and try to include that more here and take advantage of a potential times five buff going on but again you really don't need it it's just a nice little extra to have if anything the main thing you would want here is a surplus and rangefinder for a flat out even more consistent experience now i'm very aware that kill clip can roll on it and i just feel like kill clip is more enjoyable on more lightweight weapons like sidearms or high impact auto rifles silly stuff like that with this being a 450 my main goal here is to take advantage of the clean red dot sight and make that experience as smooth as possible anyway back to the gameplay from forcing myself to use these 450s for a few months now the main thing i wanted to achieve was to purposely take on the most meta weapons have fair duels with your no time to explain your generic 140 hand cannons you know the usual suspects just to prove that it can effectively go against solid weapons and solid players. Why don't I just click my fingers? I feel like the main argument to 450s in general is that your accuracy has to be pinpoint with every bullet if you want to have even a chance at winning against the meta. And while I get that, I don't think that's entirely true. Like, dude, honestly, look at my aim in some of these. I am not a cracked player. I am a former brainless Call of Duty player that enjoys a clean radical and faces to shoot. And honestly, going into PvP with a Call of Duty FPS mindset is literally perfect for 450s. Just aim lol. But honestly, for the most part, and I mean a good 70% of the time, I was doing well with this auto rifle. No matter the map, no matter the six stack I was eventually stomped on by, it was doing great. I even got an apology on behalf of my team and a compliment on my tiger spike. And see, this comment is from July. Even in bloody July, I was using this thing. God, the heat sucked. Is it just me or did this past summer just suck? Anyway, a gentle reminder. Firstly, that you can get Dreaming City weapons from completing even tier one blind wells. Do you remember when it was like one Dreaming City item per week per character and that was after your first tier three or something and then you could do some weekly thing for another one? Bah. Anyway, yeah, grind out a few tier ones and there's a good chance of a tiger spot dropping in case 
you'd like a good source of them. Let's dive into perk rolls. The roll on screen right now is what I would imagine is best on this thing. I would almost make an argument for maybe subsistence instead. The three to four bullets back per kill genuinely do help but i do think having more stability and handling and reload would be more helpful realistically and as i mentioned before kill clip is possible to roll on the tiger spike if you want to go down that route i'll just suggest maybe just outlaw i have seen some people show off on my stream some amazing tiger spike rolls a lot of them including kill clip and they swear by it so maybe give it a try if you have one i'm relenting is also a great shout and definitely not to be left out here and it will keep your ass alive more than you realize Gen Genuinely not a bad shout to use these days. And listen, don't be a plum. Give it a try before you talk smack about my boy unrelenting. Now, if you think I'm going to recommend a PvE role, you've got to be completely out of your mind. Appended Mag, Ambitious Assassin, and Frenzy. There you go. 90 reload and handling almost constantly, plus a 15% damage buff. Assassin's Creed. Why the hell did I just say Assassin's Creed? Ambitious Assassin for a maximum 55 in the magazine after reloading after a few kills, of course. And, uh, yeah, that's all I've got for you. A real PvE main here, <laughs> clearly. If you guys have better PvE suggestions, leave it in the comment section. Honestly, though, wrapping things up, I have hours and hours of gameplay with this thing on PC and Xbox, and perhaps it's because I'm a disgusting controller user that it feels so smooth to use and overall generally takes on meta weapons very effectively. But either way, it works. It just does. Is that really the conclusion of my tiny video essay on this auto raffle? That it just works? Why yes. Yes it is. It's wonderful. It's brilliant. It's fabulous. It's Tiger Spite. And so ends one advertisement for a 450 auto rifle. Bring in the next! One of my favorite legendary weapons of all time. Drum roll, please. The, 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 the fire fright. Is it fire flight? Fi it's fire fright. I am excited to show you guys this, to say the very least. Now, the fire fright is a craftable auto rifle released during the season of the hunted. Just a few months ago now, when reintroducing the Leviathan raid into a patrol area in which you can get the fire fright from, it does require some grinding of nightmare containments in that same area. And my my goodness, I have so many positives to say about this bad boy. So, firstly, here's my role. Hammer Forged, Ricochet Rounds, Fragile Focus, and Elemental Capacitor with a Range Masterwork. Now, when Fragile Focus first came out, I was really rolling my eyes at it. What's the point of any sort of buff when it goes away the second I'm shot at? I asked, in an American accent for some reason. But I was stupid. I was foolish. I didn't realize the power and the importance of this one perk. Plus 20 range to your weapon until you take damage. I found this absolutely key for challenging people. Starting your engagements with 98 range is massive. Plus, of course, Elemental Capacitor gives you extra handling. Well, I mean, I run Arc, so plus 20 stability for Void. You know, that sort of thing. I run Arc. So that's max handling max range with a 450 auto rifle that already has a beautiful, might I add, red dot sight. And that matters a lot. And not to mention the sound of this wobbler. It's just one of those extremely satisfying weapons to use. And if you've noticed, I've also put on a Trials Memento to make it look even more majestic. I actually played a lot of Trials with the Fire Fright. So here, have a mini montage to witness the power of this absolute gem. The kills you can pull off with this thing. Pfft, honestly.
Isn't it great? Now, I can't say I've used this thing in PvE at all. So as far as PvE role suggestions go, honestly, I'm not 100% sure. If you have used the Fire Fright in PvE by any chance, any sort of PvE activity, and it's worked for you, let me know what sort of roles you've been rocking. I'm genuinely curious about that. Aside from that, though, guys, there you have it. Two wonderful 450 auto raffles that are worth a second look especially with the small buff they're getting to which i think it equals to one more damage on crit hits which well it adds up and it only makes these auto raffles feel even better it sounds like i'm in denial here <laughs> get listen get any one of these try it out if you're a sweat a casual i don't care try it and also if you've been using any other 450s yourself or even one of these let me know what you've been rocking and Tell me how it's been for you. I want to hear what you guys have to say. And I massively appreciate each and every one of you that has hang out with me today and watched this video. Basically me yell at your faces about auto rifles. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate your faces very much. And for you viewers sticking out to the end, I do have a Discord channel. If you want to join a friendly and welcoming community, we're talking Destiny stuff, other games. Show me your pets, your, your cats, your dogs, your fish named Bob. You name it, I'll be there. And also, follow me on Twitch to see me stream and hang out there sometime. I love your faces very much. Aside from that though, guys, until next time, have yourselves a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Much love to your faces. Take care.